Before we begin, I would like to take a few minutes to convey to this gathering the human face and dimension of climate change. And who can do this better than a child? Please join me in welcoming a very special child, a child all the way from Fiji, Timothy, to share his story with you today. God created the universe. It was spectacular in every way. There were beautiful trees, plants, multicolored birds and animals filled the land with their cries and songs of delight. In the sea, the colorful fishes and marine life illuminates the vast ocean bodies. The world was indeed impeccable. Then he decides that all these creatures needed a leader. Alas, the creation of mankind, the dawn of a new era. The Honorable President of the COP23, the President of Germany, the Secretary of the UNFCCC, ladies and gentlemen. Nisambula Binaka, Namaste, Aslam Alkim, Fayakse, and good morning to you all. Many of us here today is in recognition that the threat from climate change is real, urgent, serious, and is growing overnight. According to the former President of America, Mr. Barack Obama, he states that, and I quote, climate change is no longer some far off problem. It is happening here, it is happening now, unquote. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is real. It is not a mere dream. Are you ready to face life without Earth? Have you contemplated what will happen if you ignore this reality, this nightmare? That is the core reason of us being here. It's time to take action as our theme depicts leadership, action, and COP23. Again, Leadership, Action, and COP23. The question is, what to do, how to do, and who to do it? Well, my dear audience, it's not about what, how, or who. It's about what you can do as an individual. As parents or teachers, what can you do? As students or leaders, what can you do? It is a terrible problem and it needs to be solved. It deserves to be a huge priority. Ladies and gentlemen, I sit at home watching and hearing the news where the sea is swallowing villages, eating away at shorelines, withering of crops, relocation of people, cries over lost loved ones, dying, hunger, and thirst. It's catastrophic, it's sad, but it's real. If you search Google today, we will get almost 65 million pages of result. But are we doing enough? Is it possible to reverse it? or are we contributing to it? My dear audience, all of this is happening elsewhere. Let me tell you my story to bring you closer to home. I hail from the beautiful province of Tailevu in a small village in Wainimbuka called Nevidula, which is in Viti Levu, the largest island in Fiji. Early in 2016, we were hit by one of the strongest cyclones ever struck Fiji, the strongest in the southern hemisphere. My home, my school, a source of food, water, money was totally destroyed. My life was in chaos. I asked myself, why is it happening? Why is the cycling getting stronger? What am I going to do? I walked along one side plantation searching for what to take home for dinner. Fish in the river for fish or prawns. Walked amongst once a dense forest only to be filled with this pain and frustration. My once beautiful village I once called home is now a barren and empty wasteland. Months that follows, summer temperatures continue rising, reduction of soil moisture turning our land infertile, trees not bearing fruits and it is well season, water bodies getting dry each day, fishes, shrimps, prawns, eels dead on lakes and river. I feel the pain, the remorse, the anger, the loss, the terror, the insecurity, Worthless and useless, as I watched everything around me turning from green to yellow, then brown, a stress sign that we are dying. Facts indicate that a total of 40,000 homes were damaged or destroyed by this monstrous disaster. That is an eye opener for us as an individual, communities, nation, and also as a global village. 
According to Desmond Tutu, he states that, and I quote, 25 years ago, people could be excused for not knowing or doing much about climate change. Today, we have no excuses, end quote. The blaming and waiting days are over. We need to act now. Therefore, let's start with putting rubbish in the bin, implementing the re drive, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Let's replant and go green drive. Let's not be more economic oriented. Let's be more environmental oriented. Ladies and gentlemen, speeches and tasks will not solve the problem, but walk the talk is more effective. Let's change our mindset and set a platform in combating this environmental issue for our next generation. We need to prepare ourselves. Safety precaution has to be adopted and followed to keep us safe. Securing belongings is paramount and should be done every time, not only during the cyclone season. Remember, prior and proper preparation prevents poor performance. Ladies and gentlemen, in school, teachers are educating students on what to do before, during, and after a disaster. But as parents and guardians, we must be vigilant and careful at times. This is sure not going to happen if we pretend and wait for others. It's time to unite, to move forward, to row together. We have heard, we have seen, we have witnessed, we were victims. Now it's time to conquer. Ladies and gentlemen, system may change, human can change, but Climate change is here to stay, unless you do something about it. With these words, let us be more environmental oriented and help restore a spectacular Mother Earth. Thank you, Vinaka and Danewat. Herr Bundespräsident, können wir noch mal einmal einen Schuss haben mit dem Kind, ein Foto mit dem Präsidenten von Fidschi und Frau Espinosa und Herr. Stell dich mal auf den Stuhl. Get on the chair. So we see you. Geht er noch? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Please walk. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We have to go. Thank you. Yeah. Left or out? Yeah.